How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some news updates when it comes to Halo Infinite. Recently 343 posted a social stream like they do on their weekly streams but this one was really special because in this stream they brought on Dan Chosich, the narrative experience director on Halo Infinite to come in and talk about the behind the scenes work when it comes to making that awesome, amazing Halo Infinite trailer. So if you want to see all the little details when it comes to making this trailer as well as my thoughts behind the before and after when I came to what they showed on this trailer. Stay tuned throughout the entire video to get all the little details. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button and let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below, guys, what your experience was when you first saw that Halo Infinite trailer. I posted my reaction, so you know exactly how I feel about it, but I want to see how you guys feel about it as well. And if you're new to the channel, want we'll to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe on, well, along with the bell keep you notified anything halo happens which is going to be awesome on this channel so let's get right into the video like i said on the social stream uh sketch bron dan chosich who like i said is narrative experience director for halo infinite he was kind of the head person behind the making of this trailer and you can tell that he uh really pro put in his uh experience with halo this guy said he's he's formerly worked with bungie and was part of the team back in 2005 he said with uh halo so this guy you know talked about also on the stream about his uh experience with halo like halo was a game that got him in the game so this guy is a fan of Halo since the beginning and so it's cool to have someone like this be in charge of such an awesome project and you can tell that this guy knows how to capture the experience of what it is to be Halo because he mentions in this uh, the social stream about how uh, the very first Halo especially kind of brought the sense of like awe and wonder and kind of uh, mystery behind the it, it, what you're playing really kind of giving this feeling of like mastery of stumbling upon things that you know we can't fully explain but we're in the situation how do we get out of it which is an experience i feel like has been really missing with the most recent halos in halo 4 and in halo 5 or i feel like uh, they mentioned about how those games were kind of marketed as standing points of fear and kind of restraints kind of thing talking about how the master chief is old he's getting beat up or you know hunt the chief kind of stuff you know really kind of accusatory kind of things that are like kind of like fearful kind of emotions where he said in this one this trailer what they want to do is bring a more, much more sense of wonder and astonishment much like we had in halo one he even mentions talking about the mac world uh, trailer that you first saw with halo where like you kind of started with those you know the very very first trailer we ever saw of halo ce and how like that game kind of started out with like a really small kind of aspect to the whole thing and then blossom into this wide open world with all this astonishment they're like w you can go all over this place you can do all these things like that's kind of crazy and that's the kind of uh, experience they wanted to get with this trailer and for my personal experience i say they captured that like perfectly and Dan was very aware of this. They even graphed it out as they showed on the stream about how they wanted to kind of graph out the general experience that they wanted people to have for this trailer. So the very first part showing like the cave area, kind of going like, I don't know what this is. Then going on to the stampede section, like, oh, this is cool. This is very beautiful. Kind of showing off the engine kind of thing. And then moving on to the marine section and going, wait, is this? I think this is Halo. Then Boom, Master Chief right there. This is Halo, I'm excited. And that's exactly what happened right there. Cause I know when I was first watching this trailer, I'm like, um, what is this? Like, I thought it was Far Cry Primal. I didn't think it would be some kind of, I didn't think it was Halo at all uh, until, uh, right until I saw those Halo Marines. I'm like, wait, wait, those look like Marines from Halo. And then boom, you get hit with that helmet and you're just like freaking out. And as you can tell by all the reactions you've probably seen by now, like, yeah. A lot of people got excited off of this trailer. And the way they kind of wanted to build that escalation is that Dan mentions how uh, that they want to show, make it feel like Halo, but not to the point where you know it's Halo, if that kind of makes sense. So they had to be really specific about how like the music that they chose was would fit Halo, but not sound like Halo until you had that chime come in. Yeah, with the Master Chief helmet, really, and then you get blasted with the awesomeness there. But also, but the whole time when you listen to the tr music around that trailer, it still feels like it would fit within Halo once you got, and once you understood the context of the whole thing. And so I think they really great job at that. They actually so showed some animatic, which is kind of like an animated storyboard of some of the stuff that we're looking to, you know, put in the trailer. And you can see how some of these parts were changed, and I think they were changed for the better for sure, because there were some parts where you can see like. Uh, 
like some forerunner structures or something like that kind of like with the writing on the wall kind of stuff or like a forerunner like structure going into that mountain that was shown in the beginning of the trailer as well and how that was removed and i think that was definitely for the better because anybody who's you know played halo a decent amount can instantly recognize forerunner structures and forerunner um, you know uh, architecture and so removing that definitely helps you know that feeling because I would have not been smacked in the face with Halo like I was with the trailer if I saw that I'm like oh my god this is Halo oh my god oh my god well like my emotional explosion would have happened as soon as I saw the forerunner structure halfway through the trailer which would have totally missed the mark of where you want the, that Master Chief helmet to really hit you right there so I thought it was a really uh, really cool things and then they, they showed a bunch of like storyboarding kind of things of um, more kind of like images that they wanted to show kind of like to again give you the feel and understanding what they were talking about he, uh, Dan even quotes it as saying like it's more like a uh, Pinterest storyboarding kind of thing but it's pretty cool to also see that with the animatic that the trailer pretty much stayed true to what they were thinking about what they wanted to have happen uh, you know, obviously some minor changes here and there, obviously removing some of the forerunner structures, which I think was a great idea, but also like some other shots that were kind of thrown out there. But like generally you can tell it kind of flowed the same way as the final trailer, which you can kind of tell that like this uh, making of this trailer must have been, you know, a pretty smooth making process, uh, even though they mentioned that the stuff that they wanted to show in the trailer wasn't necessarily even ready yet to be you know shown like the lighting and the modeling and everything else that like to make the make the engine look really nice they even had to dedicate uh, some core members of the engine to you know refine some parts that they needed to show off like the lighting and the uh, particle effects and things like that they really needed to you know spruce that up much sooner than other parts of the engine uh, just so then they can show off this trailer at this time for e3 but after watching this stream it kind of gave me another sense of reassurance about halo infinite in the direction that they're looking to take this game kind of bringing you back that old feeling of you know uh wonder astonishment discovery that kind of feeling that we lost when bungie left the series it's like even with reach we had some you know under wonder and understanding the kind of experience with as well but especially through halo 1 2 and 3 there's something new grandiose and something to find figure out with every single game when we kind of lost that with Halo 4 and 5 and with the old R style returning and returning back to a Halo ring when it comes to playing the game I have a feeling this is going to be a much more classic feeling kind of Halo and that's necessarily mean gameplay wise but at least like the emotions that you get when you're playing the game would be kind of bringing back the old feelings you used to have with uh you know you had back in the classic Halo days and uh, it seems like a lot of bringing back a lot of people who are big time fans of Halo and want to know how to get that feeling back with the game. Because a lot of people have been saying that Halo's kind of lost its identity over the last few years, which I would say a little bit yes, but still maintain the feeling of Halo. If you guys watched the stream, what do you guys think about the making of uh, this trailer? Do you guys think that they kind of hit the mark perfectly with this trailer when it comes to Halo Infinite? Do you find it kind of interesting to go these behind the scenes kind of looks when it comes to these trailers? I personally really enjoy this kind of stuff because I really like how my favorite things get made. I know this is the end of the video, but I just also wanted to say thank you very much everybody for your continued support to the channel. Uh, recently we just hit 5,000 subscribers which is absolutely amazing that was my goal to hit the beginning of this year I started with just a little bit over 3,000 subscribers and then over just you know continue updating and you know put up those videos and kind of really I feel, I feel like I really found my groove when it comes to making Halo content for you guys that uh, we've gained you know 66% growth to the channel for just this year which is my biggest year I've ever had in YouTube so I want to say thank you very much everyone who's come by the channel supported it liked videos commented hung out on live streams and everything else in between I just want to say thank you very much your support is greatly appreciated and I really like to think that this uh, channel is not just like me making videos and come watch me but I hope you guys you know interact with this content as well and you get the way get to walk away with something from these videos more than just uh, you know simple gameplay commentaries but you get like some information or something to think about when you're coming to these videos I just want to say thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart for the five hitting 5,000 subscribers this year that was my goal we did it in the last month of the year with like 20 days left to spare we finally hit it so thank you again very much for the continued support on the channel guys i just 
I'm so happy. <laughs> it's just that uh, to have what I have on this channel is something crazy. By the way, we also hit like a million views on the channel recently as well. I forgot to mention that. So, dude, you guys are just amazing. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey guys, that's about it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Check out the videos on the screen right over here. If you missed any content from me, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.